Hello, my name is Carl Meyer with Advanced Motion Controls and today we're going to talk about capabilities and the progress we've made with integrated drive motors. We've started with a DZCANTE 020L080. This particular product is a plug-in module that delivers oh roughly about one kilowatt of continuous power. We've integrated that into a motor that you can see where the shaft is operating right now along with some interfacing to bring it out to the outside world. The DZ Canty, as it's better known as, started out in this standard form and you can tell with the end bell, modified end bell here, we've added an interface card, taken away the base plate and this is essentially from a standard product with a new interface card that was built just for demonstration purposes for yourselves that allows you to completely use all the parameters and all the functionality of the standard Z product. Obviously as you get with other customers and other potentials where the integrated drive motor needs to be more cost effective uh, so on and so forth, single board design, that's all possible. With our interface mounting card design we uh, allow all options for the standard Z product to work. Bus power, complete I.O. with 5 volt logic, and in this case network CAN connections. This connector here is for encoders. There are some versions that will allow an optical encoder on the rear. And if you look closely at the spot there we've integrated in a magnetic encoder chip. This version doesn't have it, but the motor here does, and I'll take that apart and show you. As you can see, got a little cutaway here for you. The motor phases, the optical encoder on the back of the shaft, and the ribbon cable. All this assembly goes together very simply for demonstration purposes, and obviously you'll have the interface housing uh, connected, but I just wanted to show you how it works. The doghouse on top for bus power, I.O., and network communications, and for driveware setup connectivity, this housing comes off only once and then stays on. Here we're showing the integrated drive motor all assembled, as mentioned, and in this case we have a magnetic encoder chip built into the interface uh, mounting card and we're showing connectivity to driveware. I'll disconnect driveware. You can see it's running a built-in sequence right now. Disconnect. Wants me to save. I don't need to save that for right now. I will pull out that. You'll notice it's still running, no problem. Put the cover back on. As mentioned before, We've got bus power here. I've got I.O. I'm not using any of the I.O. but I am bringing in the logic for the I.O. And then we're not on CAN because this is standalone operating in the next. I will power it off. So I'll proceed to take this motor apart. As you can see we've got thumb knurl screws to make it easy for demonstration simple connectivity to the motor. This is a single stack motor with a magnet on the end of the rear shaft and then just the three phases. All the electronics are inside and you'll see this same configuration except we have the magnetic pickup IC chip that's giving us our position and velocity measurements putting it back together real quickly demonstrate how easy it is for operation. It makes it pretty convenient for the customers that you might have as well. Turn it back on, let the processor go through its steps, we're operational all over again. In summary, we're talking about the integrated drive motor. This is a NEMA 34 frame uh, working with TrueTech Specialty Motors out of Plymouth, Minnesota in the Minneapolis area. The final sale sample designs will not have any fin heat sinks. It will be a flat base plate. 
We've used, again, the standard Z drive with the interface mounting card that we've made to adapt to this frame. And what you'll get out of it is a clear doghouse to show the LEDs and the operation of the drive itself. Built-in project files that connect up to driveware. So in this case, as we're showing, we did a simple index um, sequence. And you'll be able to take it apart just like I have. So you can show the customers our overall capabilities. The final design technically or typically would be a single board design in any frame size, NEMA 23, 34, 42, or in the metric equivalents uh, to where it's as small and compact as possible for the customer. If you have any questions uh, or want to talk further about this project or any projects you might have, again, I'm Carl Meyer with Advanced Motion Controls. I look forward to hearing from you. Please contact me at any time. Have a great day.